Hey guys, welcome to our video. My wife is on the back end and she's telling me that I don't know how to open an intro button. Welcome back to our channel. This is the NTI home. I'm Lola and this is Gaius and welcome back to another video. So, <laughs> so, so many of you enjoyed our last um, video, actually not the last one, the one before last with the Nigerian and Cameroonian pigeons. So we figured we'd bring it back to you, but with a different spin this time. So we have a list of things. So I will be attempting to say these things in Cameroonian pigeon and then... And I will try my hardest. <laughs> to be sophisticated <laughs> with my pigeon or my Nigerian pigeon. Okay, I'll try my hardest. Okay, so let's see how this goes. We'll see, by the grace of God. So it's very simple, all right? We're gonna say some simple words, very simple phrases, and let's see if she can handle the real pigeon. Oh, As we all know, we've Again, made it with clear. this real pigeon. The real pigeon mm -hmm. is Cameroonian pigeon. But okay. we'll try. Nigerian pigeon, let's go. How do you say, how are you? Just how are you? Oh wait! <laughs> in Cameroonian pigeon. How body day? I remember that one. Ah. How body day? Uh, how body day? How you did shake, right? Hey. <laughs> how you did shake? She she did learn. She's learning. She's learning. Let me say it the right way. She's learning. Okay. How, uh, do, you, how do you say it in Nigerian? Pigeon? Nigerians is very simple. They say how far. I'm like <laughs> how far? Exactly. How far? Like how it's like simple. distance? Ah. Keep it simple. How far? That's what they say. <laughs> well, now we know. Uh, if, how do you say, please bring me that item on Yikes. the table? Like, please bring me that item on the table. Whoa. Or whatever the item is, you can make up an item. Um, a full disclaimer, he came up with this list. This is my first time hearing it. <laughs> Which I feel like he has an unfair advantage. But let's wow. see. Please bring me that item on the table. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you say I beg? <laughs> Just say it. I will correct you later on or not. <laughs> Just say it. Try to. I don't understand. Okay, so I beg, bring me that thing. Come, come. <laughs> hey, whoa. the Nigerian fish cannot leave her. Hey, <laughs> I have failed. I beg, bring that thing. Come. Hey, let me. Okay, you've said it, you already said it in Nigerian PG already, so it's not about to know if you say anything. I beg, bring that. That's how they how say How would you say it? I beg, bring me that thing. There you go. So you don't, you don't add the come. Come for the side. That was close enough. Uh, yes, but come, why? You know? No. Now, if you want to be directional with your parents or the day, let's say, come, bring me that thing. See? They say it like that way, but yeah. But I beg, bring me that thing. It's like. Just saying to somebody. I guess that yeah. was close enough. Yeah, but then you're, I guess, the Nigerian people is like, bring me that thing come, or how do you say it again? How do you, well, actually, it's, it's pretty much the same, same thing. Same thing. Ah. I beg, bring me that thing come, or I beg, bring me that thing. Yeah, one thing I've learned is that Nigerians they like to add a little bit of uh, extra vowels on the air, like couple or things like that. It's Yoruba. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's Nigerians in general. <laughs> okay, Please. next one. Next one. Someone told me to greet you. Whoa. If someone sent a message like, hey, someone told you to greet you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, can we be specific with the someone? Can I say my mother? <laughs> yes. Your mother said. <laughs> or something. Momzi said you, I should greet you. My mommy say, make I greet you. Ah. I got You're it right? Yes. You're I don't even want me that's all. I was like, please specify because I don't know someone. Yes. <laughs> My mommy said like I greet you. Hey, you're getting there. I am doing something right there. Okay. Something is Your like, turn. Ah. Mommy say my greet you. I no, that's that's that. Cameroonian. That's Cameroon. I don't nope. know how Daja will say it. I it's thought it's... My mama say make I greet you. Huh? Mama. No, why not say mommy? Mommy is already my mama say make I greet you. Why you say mama? Mama is already like English now Why? there. Excuse Ma me? Mama, like, what are you saying? Like, that's already our English. Mommy is like, you know. My mama said me I greet you. Hey, good that's, too. That's we are learning. All right, too. Sorry. My mama say me I greet you. Mm. We are learning. We are learning, too. We are learning. <laughs> uh, how do you say I am hungry? 
Ooh. I am hungry. I am hungry. Oh wow, I don't know this one actually. Ah, try it. Just try anything. Is it the same as saying I want to eat? Yeah, it's the same thing as everything. Okay, yeah. all right. Same thing as I want to eat. I want to chop. Ah. You're learning a little. That's right? Yeah, okay, but cool. you know, for us, we always have to add something just in the beginning, like masa. Okay. Are you hungry? Uh, or masa, I want chop. Or mom, I want chop. You know, mom, you get chop. You guys add ass. masa to everything. Yeah, masa is like omo. Nigerian, how you guys say it. Omo, like that. Masa. See? The originals. We are, again, pigeon is for us. Okay. So you you just say it in Nigerian pigeon. Ah, uh, you guys just say the same thing now. Like, you know, you guys just ask for food. You guys don't even say, you just walk around like, ah, you, you made amala or you made something. That's what you guys do. do. No, that's not you don't You don't say anything about hunger. I've never heard you say anything about hunger. Either. It's pretty much what I said. I want job. Really? You, yeah. want you guys say that? I've never heard you guys say that now. Because we don't speak a pigeon. Hi. I've never heard them say it. Sorry, I've just. I never... don't speak pigeon on a normal, so. Never heard them say that. So I, that's why I, I had no clue. I was like, I always see them just walk around like looking like, oh, you made. Unless something. like some people, well, I'm hungry. Yeah, I want to. I want to eat. Or some people will say like, hungry they wire me. That's true. You know what I mean? When hunger they we wire call it, me. we call it in uh, French galé, galé. You know when that's strong hunger. Yeah. Hunger is you know hunger. Hunger they, they wire me. They wire you right. You're right, you're right. Don't get the me. Okay, all right. All right. So how do you say this one? It's pretty easy. Let's go into the car. Or let's say we're going and we are ready to go. Huh? Let's go in the car. The keywords here are enter in car. Ah. Let's go inside the car. Mm -hmm. Or oh, inside the car. Let's go inside the car. I feel like this is one of the ones that you guys say is like some very interesting things. That inside part. <laughs> Try now. Fine. Say it in in Nigerian pigeon. <laughs> say it in Nigerian pigeon. Let's go. I do probably just say make me go inside the, inside car. See, is that a thing? Make we go inside car. Make go inside car. That's Nigerians yeah. for the way they speak. They have to add English into a car. We say it. Moto. There you go. Mo enter moto. Moto. Mo enter moto. Moto na ka. Some people say that. Really? Yeah, some people say that. Huh? Okay. Mo enter moto. Now, just some people say that. Keep it that way. Yeah. Uh, that's the, that's what that always gets Man, me. Man, that, that It always gets me that way. Like, huh? you guys always <laughs> have English inside. You always get. All right, this one. How do you say be quiet or to shut up or something like that? I feel like I know this one because I have a Cameroonian friend oh, and I was it. shocked when I heard this. Let's try it. So, <laughs> let's see. Close your mop. <laughs> Thank God. To... Not like they. <laughs> it's not the mop that you mop the floor with. Hey. Hey, yeah. No, I've heard it specifically. It says mop. Close your mop. How do you say it? Hey, God. To... How do you say it? Close your mop. Not you're mop. saying mop, not though. like the mop that you mop. Fine, but you're saying mop. Yes, now nah, like for sh cover your mop. Uh, See mop. Cover your mop or cover your. You <laughs> but know. you're still saying mop. But it's, it's not that mop that you guys. I was right. Oh, right in the mop. I got it correctly, right? Close your mop. Okay, for well, Nigerian pigeon is just to close your mouth. I've never heard them say anything. It's just a close mop or oh, close mouth. That's it. Oh, mm. Be quiet. That's what they said. I've never heard pigeon. Hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Oh yeah, I've no, heard that but one. Actually, wait. Oh yeah, I've heard that one. Mouth. Hush your mouth. Yeah, I've heard that one. So yeah. Close your mouth. Huh. You guys hide hush. You got you hush. You're too sophisticated. You say hush instead. I've heard hush before. Yeah, probably just close your close your mouth. Yeah, close your mouth. There, yeah. hush. See? Maybe. They have no PJ. I'm telling you, original. I don't know. I might Cameroonian be wrong. PJ. Don't don't take my word for it. C original. <laughs> All right. All right. This one is just. The reason why I chose this one is just to see how you guys say certain words. Okay, this one is he or she. Let's say he or she or they mm -hmm. got hit by a car. Whoa. They got hit by, you know, a ball. They got hit by something, an object. Moto jam him. Ha! Did Yay! I get it? We are getting there. Yes! The word is jam. Moto jam him. Moto jam. The word is jam. We well, have been jammed by something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, I got it. Yes. 
you, you don't get jammed by moto, you know, j moto jamming. Aha! Yes, that's the English. That is easy, the right way. That is the way to do it. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Nigerian pigeon. You guys don't say jam. You guys say jam. Oh, yeah, you say it's jam, but jam. You don't jam by car. That's what you guys say. You don't say moto. No. Jam by car. Uh, no, I think it will be the same. But instead of like him or her, you say moto jam. Ah, moto jam. Yeah, the I arm. believe so. Oh, moto jam. Again, I feel like I need to put a disclaimer. Me saying that jam pigeon is not doesn't mean this is the accurate one. <laughs> <laughs> something. <laughs> put something. We'll put something right here. You gotta put this. You're right because me, I've not been. Uh... Do not take this for the you know <laughs> as law. Exactly. I've not been back home in quite some time, so. Yes, don't quote me on it, but things some words have changed around, you yeah. know. You know, the slang is changing like, yeah. as it goes, as time goes. So yeah, the slang well, might be different, but we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but we yeah. don't really I think that might be right. Okay, I think right. so. okay, hey, if you guys, if you guys say that way, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know about that. I thought you guys should use car, but <laughs> stuff like that. Car don't jump. I mean, no. it depends. Some people might no, say maybe. car, some people might say moto. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends. All right. But I think, I mean, what I'm finding is that a lot of things are similar, except for like a few words, like okay. the mop and yeah. the who side from yeah. last time. Who side? And uh, uh, you know, the hear rules. Yeah, like there's jam. certain things that are that are different, but essentially it's a lot. And I've yeah. I've heard a lot of like Ghanaian pigeon too, and like a few other places, and they are very similar. Very similar, except for of course those few words here and there. Yeah. But yeah, on the pigeon side of it, I don't know why Nigerians use a lot of English in their pigeon. I don't know because but it's broken English. The English is not very broken. The it's English broken is just English. there. Need to break it a little. I bit mean, more. granted, I'm sure it's evolved over the years. So the even the broken English or the pigeon English that we're speaking now, it's probably not what they spoke years and years and years ago. So I'm sure now it's just like you know, it's more. Slang, more cool, more hip. So, so your um, oh, one word. So, you guys ride motorcycles. Mm -hmm. What do you guys call it in Nigerian? In Nigerian pigeon, motorcycle. Hmm. Because the way I know is you guys call it Okada. Yeah, Okada. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Everything is not Okada. Okay, okay, but no, it's not. No, okay, okay, it's not okay, is the yeah. three wheeled one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you guys call everything Okada. When Okada back in the day, when I remember, how I remember, let me think how I can remember this. The last time we used to call it Bensikin. What is it, Bensikin? Because this <laughs> Bensikin. Bensikin. There's a song for it actually. Wow. It's an actual song. You know, the guy sang this song. A blind guy that sang this song about Bensikin. So there's an actual song for it. It's all about motorcycles. People transporting motorcycles. They were cheap back in the day. You know, instead of driving a car. Bensikin. Bensikin. Wow. Yeah, she never saying it right, but it's okay. We'll ben that. Sikin, that's what you said. Yes, right? you Ben Sikin. Ben Sikin. Yeah. We have to yeah. say like that. So it's a fluid text. So Ben Sikin. Then Okada started coming in was much more Ben Sikin were more smaller motorcycles. Then Okada came, they were more like much bigger. The wheels were bigger than the Ben Sikin. So Okada came now and because Okada was much bigger and much safer, quote unquote, people thought they were using more Okada. The Okada market now became more much prominent than Ben Sikin. So Ben Sikin now could I Fade in a way. I don't know if they still ride them. Is Okada the brand? I don't. It's oh, not. I don't know. But people that call it Okada, so that's what I was trying to I understand. I don't even know how that name came to be. What does oh, Bentikin mean? That was a brand. Knows? It was a brand, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Okada. I don't we'll believe Okada is a brand. I think. I don't know. I think that's just what it's called. Well, I guess we'll have to do some googling on that. <laughs> exactly. How to research that? But anyway, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate my wife for understanding some Cameroonian pigeon. I know. We're trying. We help her get there. You know what I mean? We help her get there. We're, so we're trying. We can help you there. But thank you guys so much for watching our video. Um, please let us know in the comments um, if you guys speak broken English where you're from. Um, and just some things that are, I guess, similar to what we things we've said. Um, just kind of let us know now in the comment section. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and we look forward to bringing you our next video. Yeah. And remember, Cameroonian Pigeon. It's the best oh, pigeon. Bye! Mm -hmm.